Now let's get talking now as we take a look at trading activities at the Nigerian Exchange yesterday. But before then, let's tell you that the All Shell Index of the Nigerian Exchange Limited rose to 66,490.34 basis points at the close of trading activities on Tuesday, breaking a 15-year record. The ASI rose by 0.51% to 66.490.34 points from 66,151. 38 basis points on Monday, surpassing the highest va value of 66,371.20 basis points recorded on the exchange on March the 5th, 2008. The milestone is in parts attributed to a surge in buy interest in banking stocks as investors position themselves taking advantage of the recent recorded earnings posted by banks. Similarly, the market capitalization also increased by 0.51% to close at 39.69 trillion naira from 36.21 trillion naira recorded on Monday. In two days of trading this week, investors have gained 510 billion naira, that is 3 325 billion naira on Monday and 185 billion naira on Tuesday. Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer. Invest Data Consulting Limited joins me now live via phone to do some analysis of these figures. Ambrose, good morning. Always a pleasure having you join me on the program today. You've seen the figures and you've seen what played out at the NGS. Can you bring us up to speed to the fundamentals responsible for this impressive out outlook at the NGS? Yeah, for me, the market has uh, rallied and uh, no. Thank you for that insight. But I'm really concerned. I remember on Analyst Standard, we also had the projection of the market itching towards to its 80,000 um, basis point. How soon do you see that happening? Is it possible we see that happen this year, before the end of this year or perhaps at the early of the start of next year? What's your thoughts on this? I think that 
It's a midweek trading activity today at the market. What are the signs? What's the outlook for today? What's your projection as we wrap up the segment now? As we speak now, the top market are running for six videos and six of them are taking activity. And then from those two that are in the market for this morning, if that trend continues, the market will also close uh, manually in the way. For those who speak in the new point, they are the meeting. You are supposed to see the turn around, the market also close for the trend. If you know the market are open now, the strong return level of the market are around the market are around the market of 2008. But I'm sure already from the world for the market of this. If that is still trend, it's expected to be to my team, to the market at the end of the day. But as we are now, I'm not surprised that the market are open back to the market of the day. But what I tell you today, the market will come back to the strong return level of the strong market. Last word now, what is your advice to investors and how should they be positioning themselves for profits taking this season? All right, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited, Ambrose Amarjo, thank you as always for your in depth analysis of market trading activities at the NGS on the show. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful week, day ahead of you. Thanks for having me. Coming up next on the show, as fear of escalation of the Niger coup builds, the federal government has been warned that military intervention could damage Nigeria with the yearly financial cost estimated at two billion dollars. Given the also given the continuous growth of the telecoms and ICT sector, Nigeria now ranks seventh in terms of mobile phone usage globally, while it takes the eleventh spot in terms of internet penetration. And finally, oil prices extended gains today after industry data showed a large draw in crude inventories in the U.S. and the world's biggest fuel consumer and concern about a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico kept investors on edge. We'll get talking about these and more after this timeout. Do stay with us. <laughs> 